Hi YouTubers, I'm Jonah and welcome to my DIY channel. So I've been a bad boy, I've been neglecting my pool. And to top it all off, it's been raining so much here. I've left my solar blanket on for almost two weeks. And I've been forgetting to turn on the pump. And guess what? You guessed it, my pool turned green. So how do I turn my pool back to crystal clear? So let's do it together. And let's get started. And the first thing I do is change my skimmer sock. Notice the chlorine puck in my skimmer. I always keep one in the skimmer. Some people say not to do this. Another pool store says it's okay. But I've been doing this for 10 years and I've had no issue. Wow, check out how green my sock is. So if you don't have a sock for your skimmer, I suggest you get one. You can pick it up at your local pool store. And I'm sure Amazon sells it too. Now let's turn the pump on. and uncover our solar blanket. Wow, check out how green my pool is. I think pretty soon I'll have frogs jumping in thinking it's their pond. The next thing I do is vacuum the pool really good. I'll start off in the deep end area, then work my way into the shallow end. And don't forget to vacuum the side walls. Okay, let's change the skimmer sock again. Notice again how green our skimmer sock is. And notice all the bugs it catches. Compare our new sock with the old sock. Let's turn off the pump now. And turn our sand filter to backwash. Now turn on the pump again. I'll backwash up to three minutes. Notice how dirty our sight glass is. Now I turn off the pump. And I turn to rinse cycle. And I turn on the pump again. And I rinse for about 30 seconds. Now notice our sight glass clearing up. Then we turn off the pump again.
and finally put it back to filter. Then turn the pump back on. And I leave my pump on until my pool clears up. Now I'll check out my floating chlorine duck dispenser. So at this time I also throw in a puck in my skimmer sock. Well, it looks like I still have two chlorine pucks. That's good. I usually keep between two to three chlorine pucks. So I've heard some people complain about these chlorine dispensers. They say they get stuck by the stairs or by the ladder, but I've never had that issue. And I've been using the floating duck for about 10 years now. I used to have the chlorinator, but I didn't like it. Every time I used to open up the chlorinator, the fumes was just overwhelming from the pucks. I know breathing that fumes is no good, so I basically had to hold my breath every time I did that. So here's my secret of clearing up my pool and keeping my pool clear all summer long. I started using this about two years ago and it's the best product I've ever used. And I've had my pool since 1999. And just to let you know, I have no affiliation with this product. I'm not being paid to advertise it either. So unfortunately, it's a Canadian product. So I don't know if they sell this in the States. And not every pool store in Canada carries them either. But I'm also sure that your pool store carries similar products. So whatever shock product you use, whether it be chlorine or other granules, follow its recommended instructions. So for my size of pool, 16 by 32, I throw in 9 scoops of this. And then one scoop once a week. Now every two to three hours, I keep changing my skimmer sock. Like I said before, if you don't have a sock, I suggest you get one. You will not regret it. Wow, notice again how green my skimmer sock is. And by using the sock, I also cut down on my back washing. I usually throw in one puck in a skimmer. Then I do a quick clean of the sock so it will be ready for the next time. Well, as you can see, it rained again. Well, I see my pool is still green. But don't worry, be patient. Notice the corners, it's starting to clear a little bit. So again, we're gonna change our sock every two to three hours. Well, notice my skimmer sock, super green. That means it's doing its job. I usually throw in a 3 inch chlorine puck at this time. Now I throw in 8 liters of algaecide. Notice all the bubbles the algaecide creates. 
That's normal. So all we do now is wait and let the pump do its job. And the sand filter and sock filter will filter out all the dead algae floating around. Now I don't shut off my pump. I keep my pump on until the pool starts to clear. I usually keep the pump on only for 12 hours a day. So we went away to Niagara Falls for the weekend. And we'll show you the results when we come back. Also, the morning before we left for Niagara Falls, I did throw in two jugs of chlorine, mainly because it was forecasted to rain that weekend. And there you go. My pool is crystal clear once more. And on my next video, I will show you my daily routine and weekly routine to keep this pool crystal clear all summer long. So if this video has helped you out, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.